right. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Scooch and Steve Airbnb series, I guess we could call it. I am in our first Airbnb property here. As you can see behind me, we have our NOLA theme. So this property is off of a street called New Orleans in Seminole Heights. And basically, uh, we wanted to theme it after New Orleans. We drove across the country from California and moved here. Long story short, uh, we themed it with a lot of these Florida de Lis, or what those are called, that little piece of artwork, New Orleans. So we thought it'd be nice since it was off New Orleans Avenue to theme it after NOLA. And what we have is we have our bistro set, we have our bed, we have our lamps, we have our AC because our split unit broke not too long ago, so we will be getting that replaced. But for now, we have this portable AC here. We have our nice little couch, leather couch. As you can see, previous guests, I'm gonna be going through and cleaning this today, so uh, that's why it's a little dirty right now or messy. Got our rug, coffee table, Airbnb magazine. Shout out to Airbnb for sending out their magazine. And we have our uh, little closet area with the kitchen that right there with the microwave and uh, you know the bathroom behind me so the way that we achieved super host in three months was a lot of work you know we, we put a bunch of effort into messaging with people being very responsive making sure that they were taken care of bringing extra pillows blankets towels uh, stocking extra snacks things like that making sure people were comfortable and happy with uh, their experience. That's one of the biggest parts. It sounds cliche, but it is just true. That's just what we did. We made sure that we were always available 24 seven. You know, we had people messaging us at like 1 a.m. and there was only one person that did that, but you know, whatever. It's, uh, it's all worth it because you can get into the search feature. When people go onto Airbnb and they wanna have a great experience, they click search for the location and then Superhost if they wanna make sure that they're just going for the top echelon people that are going to give them a great experience they make sure that they do that so in our first property what we do every single time when a new guest leaves a guest just left about an hour ago and another one's checking in at 3 p.m we set it at 11 a.m is when checkout is and then 3 p.m is when the other uh, next tenant checks in so uh, you know, we're booked solid, which is great. You know, we have about like an 80% occupancy here in Seminole Heights in Tampa, Florida. And what I always do is I come in here first and use that little vacuum back behind me. It's this nifty little vacuum. It's called the Arnica, I believe is the way that it's, uh, yeah. The Arnica by Berghoffs. Oh, it's called a Merlin. Got it. So that's, that must be just the, the make and model there. Uh, so really, really great vacuum. And I also Swiffer. I know everybody's familiar with that, so I don't have to show that. But uh, I go through, vacuum everything. As you can see here, they've used a couple mugs in our nice little Keurig that we have here. So I have to take those inside, wash them, take care of them, um, bring them back in. And we have our little dirty towels basket here. This is super cool and instruct people to put their, uh, you know, items in there. Very, very important so that you can keep track of where your dirties are. And in terms of bathroom, uh, let's see, they reconnect. Yeah, I always make sure to, uh, you know, run the bathtub, get all the, anything out, always try and scrub it. We have a lot of cleaning materials here or a lot of cleaning utensils, I guess you could call them. Okay, we have the dehumidifying uh, moisture out of the air and Clorox. We have our method here that I scrub the toilet with, uh, as well as the bleach for the toilet and our Drano back there. We have some soap to refill. And we also have like hand creams that not many people use, but it's nice, a nice feature to have on there. And once I've vacuumed and everything, I haven't even vacuumed in here yet, but uh, once I vacuum Swiffer, I do the bed. 
get all new fresh, 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 clean sheets on there. Make sure all the dishes are cleaned and taken care of. And then I shut the power off. No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I, I make sure everything is done. I have a nice little checklist that I go through every single time to make sure that I, I make everything as pristine as possible before every single guest comes in. Those first 25 to 50 reviews are so key to making sure that, you know, the future listing on Airbnb is firm. And, you know, let's say one bad guest comes out of 25 people and they're like super extra or something like that. And they are, uh, you know, breaking stuff or, or just, it's a terrible experience um, for you hosting them. And let's say they even tank you for, you know, not letting you break enough, uh, <laughs> or not letting them break enough stuff or something. I don't know, but, with law of averages, you know, one out of 25 people will be a little bit more difficult than the rest, if not extremely difficult. So you wanna prepare and insulate yourself with a bunch of really good reviews. And to do that, you gotta kinda of go above and beyond to protect yourself against when that happens. So you feel good and okay when that does happen. Uh, just cause humans, humans are gonna do what humans do. So that's pretty much it, that's how how I clean, you know, it takes about 45 minutes to come in right after a guest. No one has done anything extreme. You know, no one's like thrown up or anything like that. It's all been very, uh, very tame. A lot of, a lot of very young people coming in and just crashing here for the night just because there's a lot of amenities here in the city. So it's, it's kind of a, a nice place to just come crash, super basic. We try to keep it minimal so that there was um, you know, not a bunch of clutter or anything like that. Cause we've stayed in Airbnbs in a lot of different cities like Sedona, Santa Fe, uh, you know, Texas, all, all over the US and even in Europe. And uh, I think that a lot of it, a lot of it can tend to be cluttered and keeping things minimal is, is way more effective than you may think. So for example, we wanna put like a, uh, a world map over there, like a small little world map because we only have a few things on the walls. There's not very much on the walls. So we wanna, we wanna just add a little feature there. I was also thinking about allowing people to put a pin in there. I thought that was kind of a cute little, cute little thing that I saw at an Airbnb we stayed in and uh, I believe it was Amsterdam. They did that with a map where you could put a pin in the wall. I thought that was really cool. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. For this episode, that is how a Superhost cleans the Airbnb. We got Superhost, which is awesome. I am gonna be putting the link to our blog, suchesteve.com, where you guys can check out everything about the best products to buy, all the way down to the best breakfast biscuits that you can put in your Airbnb. Coffee makers, bistro sets, sheets, uh, lamps, floors, heating, AC, all pretty much everything if you're if you're thinking about doing an airbnb even if you're traveling for airbnb or with airbnb uh as a place to stay it's a fantastic resource so i'm gonna leave all the links to that below much love guys thank you so much for watching and we will be back soon with another series here we have a very exciting announcement coming up in the next week or two so i'll be sure to update you guys first and have a good rest of